What's going on guys, Sean Guts here back with another video. I got my man Jackson in the chair. You can see he's a little overdue, so we're gonna get him back together. You guys have been enjoying some of these shear work tutorials and sectioning tutorials I've been doing. So I'm gonna bring you guys another one. Guys, this is a long video. We're gonna do a design on one side, bald fan on the other side, some scissor work, some styling, but I hope you guys take some away from it. I'm gonna start off, you guys see I saturated the hair, then I'm gonna shake the crown out so that I can see the direction that the hair wants to go. Once I can tell where the crown is, we can start the section. Now I'm gonna start from the center of the crown to the front corner or the recession. Guys, use the wide tooth comb. It will give you some nice comb lines. You can stick your comb in and split the hair and get a nice clean part. We'll do that on both sides, then we can start our shear work. Now we're gonna start in the back. He's liking this kind of low fade that we're doing with some length in the back. So we're gonna start with our block graduation, super low in the back, then we're gonna bring it around in the front and tighten it up to the head so the fade can fit underneath it. Now you'll see we'll go ahead and start to work it around this side, curving up or working our way up to his parietal ridge on the side. So we wanna leave all that length in the back. He is liking that quite a bit. But we wanna get tight on the side so we can do a fade underneath. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. There's our guide that we started with in the back and we can work our way up to the front. Once I go up to the front, if it's not laying perfectly, I like to come back through and make sure that it's nice and clean before we move on. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect the top. We're gonna split it down the middle. I'm looking for where his hair wants to split. You guys can see the hair on the right side of the screen wants to go to the right and the hair on the left wants to go to the left. So we'll go ahead and split it. You can see it's not perfectly down the middle. That's not gonna matter. We wanna cut it with how his hair wants to go. Now we'll just pull it out to each side to the guy that we started with and make sure it's the same length. And you guys are about to see me make a huge hiccup here. Guys, you know the general rule of cutting is not to cut past the second knuckle. So I chased that last piece of hair that was hanging. You can see I got myself. Guys, it still happens to me. Doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Definitely startled me, uh, but took a little nice chunk out of the palm of my hand. But we'll throw a band-aid on it and move on. So now we're just gonna keep connecting that, guys. Work our way from the back up to the front. Anything that is past our guide, we'll cut it out. And we'll go to the other side, do the same exact thing and then we'll move on to the top. Now we're in the back, you guys can see the guide that I started with from the foundation, and then the length that we've combed over to the side is hanging past that, so we will just take off anything that hangs past it and work our way up to the front, making it nice and consistent. You guys know, like I said, if it's not clean, you can come back through and clean it up until you're happy with it. Now moving on to the top, because we took that hair to each side, we should have a guide. So as we pull up this section, you guys will see a guide on the left side of the screen that's gonna fall out that we've cut, and a guide on the inside of my knuckle that is from the other side of the head. So all we have to do is take that straight across one section, the other sides have already been cut. You can see again, everything has fallen out on the left side, the guide on the right, and we'll just make that straight across. We are keeping it square, so we're pulling it straight up. We're not rounding it to his head shape. We wanna keep it square and have some length on top to give us a nice full style. Then we can come in and add some texture before we move on to the fade.
I'm gonna come in with my feather razor and we're gonna texturize this top. You guys can do this with a regular razor, you can do it with a feather razor. You can see actually my blade is a little bit dull here, it's not taking off as much as I want to. You guys can do this with a standard razor blade, obviously just be more careful, there is no guide on the razor. But you guys are just gonna scrape it along the top of the surface of the hair, just like if you were shaving a face, and you're just gonna scratch up basically that top layer, adding some texture as we go. I'm gonna show you guys another technique here in a second. Now we're gonna do some slide cutting guys. You see we're just gonna take the shears basically diagonally across the growth pattern of the hair and we're just gonna close them up slightly. We don't wanna cause a big chunk here. We just have to keep it moving so that the blade will move through the hair. So I'm gonna comb it back forward. I'm gonna go diagonal the other direction. You guys are gonna see when we comb this down again how much texture we just added to the hair. Now before I come in and do my clip work, I do want this hair to be pretty much dry. So I'm not really looking to style it here. I just wanna get that top area where we set the block graduation. I want it brushed down on each side and also in the crown so that I can bring my clippers right up into it. Now if you guys have seen my videos before, we're gonna do the same exact steps. You guys know I like to preach following the same steps it's going to give us our best overall outcome so we're going to start off with the number three we're going to go straight up into that block graduation that we started with feeding that clipper straight up off the head you guys see i slow the clipper down run it straight up through that weight line we get a nice number three on the sides connected to the top this is one of the major advantages to doing your haircuts this way after we do the number three guys technically we could line everything up call it a finished haircut. We can do a taper if we want, we can do a high fade if we want, we can do a low fade if we want. It's really giving us the freedom to tackle this haircut however we want. And we know we can always cut into a three, whether it be a taper or anything else. Um, so that is why I set it up this way. Then I know that I can tackle this haircut no matter the style of the haircut. I can connect it into a three and I know I can fade into a three. Now we're gonna start off with our bald guideline. I'm gonna punch it in with these Slimline Pros. If you guys know how I do this, I like to use a trimmer that's not so sharp so it's not so difficult to take out the bald line. Then we'll bald out a little bit underneath. Then we'll come in under that with a sharper trimmer that is going to not only help the transition from the shaver to the trimmer, but also make it easier for the shaver to bald out over that sharper trimmer. Now we're gonna come in with the shaver and because we balled it out with the sharper trimmer, the shaver is gonna have an easy time balding out. Go ahead and work our way up towards the trimmer line and then we can tap the shaver as you can see there to lighten up any spots between the shaver and the trimmer. Now for our first step, we're gonna use the Stylecraft Rebel with the lever all the way open. We're gonna go about three quarters of an inch and set another guideline. So like I said guys, we wanna follow the same shape, taking your time, making a nice clean guideline following the same ball guideline that we started with and following the weight line above. So if everything works out as planned, the fade will fit perfectly underneath the weight line and that's gonna really give you that nice finished look. So I'm taking my time, I'm sitting in my open section and then we'll come in and start to take the line up from the bottom. So now we punched our guideline in with the slim lines. So the first step of my fade is to flick out and take the line out that we put in with the slim lines. So now we did the slim line to flick the line out. Now we have the closed rebel and we're gonna flick that line out and bump it up just a little bit higher. Now in your open section, we did open at the top. We should be clipper closed at the bottom. If the clipper is halfway open, we should be halfway up into this section.
Now you can see the front blended out super nice and then back behind the ear we still have a little bit of darkness there. I get asked all the time how do you tackle that? Guys you just have to spend a little bit extra time and this is why I don't move on until I'm done with this section because now I can go back to that back section. I'm going to start with my clipper open. I'm going to go after some of those dark spots then I can close it up a little bit. I can keep hitting those spots until it blends in and this whole section looks consistent from the front to the back. Then we can move on and that will make sure that we have a consistent section before or moving on to the one, then you don't really know what you're working with if you have dark spots left. So you're gonna see I'm gonna tackle some of these dark spots, spend a little extra time on this section before I move on to the one because I wanna make sure that I know what I have here and then it's consistent with the front where it looks nice and smooth. For our next section, we're gonna come in with the one guard all the way open. Guys, we're gonna go up another three quarters of an inch or so. And you'll see because of the texture of his hair, the density of his hair, we're able to kind of flick that number one out and it kind of almost connects to the three. Now I'm not gonna mind that it leaves a little bit of a line. You guys can see a little bit of a line in the front because we're gonna go ahead and work our way up and take that line out. But you guys can try to flick out. Just make sure you're doing a consistent stroke and basically again following that shape of the haircut we want to make sure we stay within so now i'm in with the two guard all the way closed and i'm going to try to connect the open one to the three so we just want to lighten up that line we're going a little bit higher than the line we're going to connect to the three we want to make sure that the two goes into the three without leaving a guideline all that we should have left on that open one line is to come in with a one and a half and take out anything that's left behind you guys can see we're kind of blended in it looks pretty decent we just have a slight line in between those two and now the one and a half halfway open should take that all the way out for us Now we can start to work on that last guideline. And a lot of the time, guys, I do like to come in with my one guard open again, just for safety, make sure I connect to that one and a half, but we're gonna use our one guard close. We're gonna attack that bottom line. We're going just a little bit higher than that line that's left. And again, guys, the magic eraser, as I like to call it, the half guard will come along and it will take out any spots that are left that the one guard close wouldn't get. So now we're in with the half guard, guys. It is halfway open, and we should be able to hit this last little hint of a line between the open section and the closed one, and the half guard should take that out. Now we're gonna come in and line up this C cup, guys. That's all we're gonna line up on this haircut. We just wanna to add to this little pop next to the fade. So I'm gonna come in and give him a C cup, guys. He doesn't have the strongest C cup right here and we've balled it out most of it. So I'm just gonna find that first area up top where we can get that consistent corner uh, of the C cup vertical bar area. And then it's just basically, it's gonna fade away as it comes down into the fade. So we just wanna get that first line sharp. And now I'm gonna hit it with my Uno. You guys know I don't lay a ton of people back and hit them with the blade. So I'm just gonna use the Uno. That's one of my favorite things to use it for. And then we're gonna go ahead and work our way back in the fade. Some of those areas between the shaver and the trimmer and the close clipper are a little bit rough. So I'm just gonna take the Uno. Again, it's kind of a lighter shaver. I'm just gonna kind of work my way through here and clean up any dark spots that I see before we move on to the other side. Moving on to the other side, we're going to prepare this side for a design. So instead of starting at the bottom with the ball guideline, we're going to go ahead and basically do what we did on the other side. At the top, we're going to fade from a number two down to a one and a half. We're just going to connect the two into the three, make sure that we have that panel cut down to a two, and then we can bring our one and a half right up into that. And that's going to set up this side. 
and this will save you all a whole lot of time if you're going to come in and do a design through the whole side of the head and you spend the whole time doing a fade and then cut your design in for one sometimes you won't have enough hair to do what you want to do with the design and for two sometimes really the fade doesn't have to be that clean if you're going to put a line through the middle of it so it's kind of doing extra work so i like to just set the panel up come in do my design then we'll fade underneath it and kind of make this fit with the design now I'm gonna go ahead, everything under the line, I know I can cut to a one guard open. And again, guys, we're making this easier on ourselves. Instead of doing the whole fade and then doing the design, we're gonna just fit the fade underneath the design. So I'm just cutting this all down to a one, and then we can come in and decide what we wanna do for the fade portion. Now this is a very important thing to remember when you're doing designs. We wanna go little by little. So if you come in here and you just blow this line out from the beginning, again, we don't know what our finished product's gonna look like. We don't know where the hair is gonna be. So we just wanna go little by little and clean it up. So you guys see I'm focusing on the top line right now. It is cut down to a one and a half. It's a little bit longer, so it's gonna take a little extra detail to get that line nice and sharp. Once it's etched in and I'm happy with how it looks, I can flip my trimmer and start to do the bottom side of the line. Now guys, I'm coming in doing my ball guideline. I just want it to fit perfectly underneath this design. And this little back area we will figure out in a minute. So we're gonna treat it the exact same way as we did the fade on the other side. Punch it in with the slim lines, balled out with the slim lines. Then we'll go ahead and ball out the rest with a sharper trimmer and then we can shaver ball underneath. And then we just have a small little fade area to do to make it fit under the design. Now we can come in and start our fade. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my open section. I am gonna go ahead and work that last line out above and then we can come and work the ball guideline out. Now we're gonna flick out the guideline, guys. We punched it in with the slim lines, so we're gonna flick it out with the slim lines. So we'll go ahead and flick that line, bump it up just a little bit. I'm being very precise, guys. My finger is against the head, just barely bumping that up. Now we'll come in with the clipper closed and bump it up a little bit further. Now this is the only section we have to deal with. It's a pretty small section, so we have this whole area to stretch. Now we're in with the clipper halfway open and then open finally again. And we can clean this up, guys. It's gonna have some dark spots. You can see it's a little bit inconsistent. So then we'll just work our way around and clean this up until we're happy with it. Now we're gonna tackle this little back V area. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to explain from the point of this little point to the bottom by his ear that you can see. We're gonna close the clipper and fade it up into the V. And then I'm also gonna fade from the bald area towards the back into the V. So now we'll do our open section, basically cutting everything under the design to an open clipper. And you can see that ties right into the other side of the head. Now we'll just finish up this little section in the back and then we can work that last ball guideline out. I'm gonna re-wet the hair, guys. Obviously, it dried kind of laying straight down and super basic. So I'm gonna re-wet the hair. We're gonna apply some product all the way through the hair. I'm gonna work it all the way from the tips down to the root, and then we'll come in with a blow dryer and get this thing styled. Before the video's over, I wanna tell you guys real quick, myself and my brother Get Beamed will be in Knoxville coming up soon on the 26th and the 27th. Guys, we're doing a hands-on course and a look and learn. I can promise you guys, if you're anywhere near the Knoxville area, get to that hands-on. It is gonna be a game changer, guys. I'm gonna teach something in the hands-on course that I've never given away on YouTube. It is so valuable. I didn't wanna give it away for free. I learned it in Bazio's hands-on course years ago and it was an absolute game changer for me. So if you guys wanna check out tickets, go to 245academy.com slash events. I would love to see you guys there. Like I said, the hands-on, I promise, will be a game changer. Now I'm gonna apply 245 pure powder, guys. Just shake it in the top. I like to take my hands and pull the hair back so that the powder can get down in the hair and not just on top. But we'll just shake it through. You guys can see a bunch blowing away. I think there's a couple of fans in my shop. So I'm trying my best to get this stuff in the hair. It comes out kind of funny. So I'm just gonna keep dumping a little bit in until I get a good amount on the hair. Now I'm gonna take my fingers and we're basically just gonna shake it, scrunch it into the hair and start to work that final texture in. 
All right, guys, here is the finished cut mid fade crop with a freestyle design on the other side. If you guys want to see this in more detail, make sure to check out the Toon 45 Academy. It is a 40 minute tutorial. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. I got some dope content coming soon. You already know. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this haircut on Jackson. And I'll catch you guys next time.